Welcome to Kensington Gardens for Art Antiques London, incorporating the International Ceramics Fair and Seminar. In a very short time, Art Antiques London has become an important destination for a global community of collectors, curators and interior designers. The dealers at this fair are specialists in a broad range of disciplines, including furniture, paintings, jewellery, clocks, textiles, silver and ceramics as well as rare books and modern art and contemporary objets d'art. This is the 30th anniversary of the fair. I spoke to Brian Houghton of Houghton International, organizers of the fair. I'm with Brian Houghton of Houghton International, organizers of Art Antiques London. Brian, you're celebrating a birthday this year, I believe. Indeed, it's 30 years old since this fair started. But when it started, it was called the International Ceramics Fair and Seminar, and that started at the Dorchester Hotel exactly 30 years ago, then moved on to the Park Lane Hotel in Piccadilly, and now last year the Crown allowed us to take over Kensington Park here opposite the Albert Hall for Art Antiques London. Yes, it's an impressive setting with the Albert Memorial just a few, a few yards away. Indeed, the Prince looks down on us every night, and uh, <laughs> as he started here in 1851 by putting the great exhibition, we sort of feel in many ways that we're sort of carrying on something very exciting. And you've exhibitors coming from all over the world? We have dealers from all over Europe, from America. Actually, in this year we have a very exciting, we have an American dealer um, specializing in Japanese uh, baskets. And they brought with him them a, a national treasure from Japan. And he's sitting there all day long making the great baskets. Yes, it's very impressive, I must say, and it's attracting a lot of attention. Absolutely, but we have dealers from Germany, France, um, America, all over Europe, so, and of course a lot from the UK. And what's the state of the business in, in the antiques world right now, Brian? I think the business, well, put it this way, we have gauged this fair to be a fair for collectors and connoisseurs. And over the 30 years, even in the, the dip 10 years ago, it didn't affect it in any way. If you're, if you're a collector, you still go out to find that eye. It's rather a little bit like a religion. Mm -hmm. you know, it takes over and uh, sure. it hasn't affected. I think it has affected other parts of the market, but certainly in the collector's business, it hasn't. The interesting thing about you is that you're, you're also a dealer. I am, and I, I started as a dealer 40 years ago, and from that we realized that there was nothing in London, say exactly about 32 years ago, was taking place. Grosvenor House, that fair, had collapsed then. Mm -hmm. So my wife and I, on our way to New York one day, we saw a man who deals in Netskis. I said, where are you going? And he said, I'm going to Hawaii. I said, Hawaii? What, what are you doing in Hawaii? He said, well, we have the the Netsky convention there, so we stopped and thought, ah, fantastic, this is something, let us bring to London mm. the <coughs> ceramics fair internationally, but tie in all the museums in the world to give lectures. That was the start a year later of the ceramics fair. I must say it's a very impressive fair, mm. Brian, congratulations. Thank you. Sold.